Hi guys, and welcome back to the Bam Fam Lamb. So this week we thought we'd tell you about how moving to Australia has changed our lives. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. a different country is that we don't have our family around us um, it's made a massive impact we've had to be a lot more independent and yeah that's probably the biggest change for us personally yeah so we can't really rely on family to sort of come around and give us a hand with any of the jobs that we don't understand and stuff we just have to work it out for ourselves yeah um, so for that I think we've grown as a family for learning things ourselves and sort of not relying on people. So next, and the obvious one, is the bright blue skies. That changes everything. It does. Especially for days like this where you can jump in the pool and enjoy a few laps. <laughs> Being able to go out most of the time, most days, it really is a bit of a game changer, isn't it? Obviously having that warmth um, just brightens up your day and it makes us a lot more happier. It means you don't feel so restricted, so you don't worry about whether you can't go somewhere. You can. You do get the obvious rainy days, like what we've got today. Yeah. But we just find other things to do, more stuff to do with indoors. Yeah, or filming for you. Yeah. <laughs> just for you. <laughs> just for you. You know you. We're not filming for anyone else. Yeah, you know I'm talking to you. You, sitting on the sofa, watching me on the TV. <laughs> Or the phone. Or you in a crane. Yes. <laughs> the gentleman who watches us from his crane. <laughs> that was a bit of a... <laughs> a highlight. Get it? Highlight. <laughs> you, you funny man. <laughs> anyway, back to where we was. Although it sounds superficial to think that the weather can change your life, it actually can because it just gives you more chance to get out and do things and it's not something you need to worry that you're going to freeze. Yeah, and sometimes you'll even pick... Um, to go to work earlier if you've got a really nice scenic view mm. on the way on to work um, we used to we used to take an extra five minutes just because we could do uh, a, a coastal, coastal road, road. <laughs> jinxy <laughs> but yeah we used to be able to do a coastal road so we didn't mind the extra five minutes because it was amazing just watching us oh so worth it yeah watching the surfers first thing in the morning or the paragliders out there yeah even just the colour of the set also on top of that, um, we feel like we're in very much, well not we feel like, we are in very much a less crowded area, um, so there's a lot more space and that in turn, I don't know, there's a certain feeling of safety as well with that, having that extra space, you're not so cramped in, everything, I don't know, feels bigger and brighter and... Yeah. You can, because we haven't got tall buildings that are really high, you can see so much more sky, and I like that. Yeah, instead now we've just got really tall trees. Yes. Around us. Oh, and, oh. and frogs in our drains. There's a frog in our drain, he lives there. He kicks off every day. Yeah, every it's a little bit rainy at the moment, so he's... I don't know how he's just staying in there, though. Anyway. Anywho. <laughs> us wittering on <laughs> where it's less crowded and you feel a bit safer like even silly things I remember the last time I went to London I <laughs> I walked across a road to go into a supermarket and I saw some hood rats <laughs> and they were really awful looking like they I, I literally felt so nervous that I was gonna be robbed at knife point I hid my purse under my coat and I don't feel like that here. I've never ever here felt that unsafe. No, sometimes you get to the point where um, you just feel safe leaving your house unlocked and stuff like that. Like, yeah, we don't. But we don't, yeah, we because don't. we're English, we would never do that. Yeah, but, but there's a lot of people we know who are happy to leave their house unlocked, yeah. the sheds unlocked and stuff like that and go out. Yeah, it's a lot more common, whereas we've still got that British, um, particularly London, 
yeah. mind where we, we just could never do that even though we do feel a lot safer here. But along with those things regarding not having so many people around, it also means that you don't encounter so much traffic and that is a game changer. When we want to go somewhere that's say 40 kilometers away, it might only take us, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes? Yeah and you know it's straight there you're not having to you're not having to allow for traffic you literally take the amount of time it would take to travel there rather than having to sit in traffic for an extra half an hour yeah although saying that where we are more um you don't have a lot more direct roads to where you want to go so sometimes yeah. you have to go miles out your way just to get to the other side of but the good thing is you won't be sitting bumper to bumper. Occasionally um, we do encounter a bit of traffic and now that we've lived here so long, we actually have less tolerance for it. It really, really annoys us now when we're sat in traffic, whereas that would have been an everyday thing before. Even if we had to sit at lights for a little bit longer, we're a little bit irritated yeah. by it because we're not used to it anymore. Yeah, it seems like there's not as many traffic lights here up in the, the uh, Sunshine Coast. It's no. Right. It's more roundabouts. Yeah. Yeah. A lot more free good. flowing. Yeah. I hate traffic lights now. I don't mind as long as it's not the M25. I'm happy. Yeah. Or central London. I accidentally drove through central London last time we went back. She did. That was an interesting one. Yeah, I took the wrong road. Before I realised I was already going, I was stuck in traffic. Took us hours. I wasn't driving. He just had the embarrassment of me shouting across to other drivers to ask them to let me in front because I didn't want to do that aggressive driving thing. Yeah. <laughs> I was saying, just edge out, just edge out. And she's like, no, 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 I'll, I'll wave at him. Excuse me, kind fellow, please can I go in front of you? <laughs> it worked. Should it actually, be right. It actually worked. <laughs> Central London calling out to other drivers to ask them to let you in front with a really nice smile and a please. It works. Yeah, it doesn't. Just so if you know. You're me, no, just Ben. Your, your local no. Ben's smile is a bit, um, a bit creepy. That doesn't get you let out. This one does. So another thing that we find great and has actually really changed our life is obviously with the weather being so lovely there is more of an outdoors lifestyle. We feel like we do more activities outside as a family. Um, we're more able to um, arrange parties outdoors say in parks or have people over and we have a barbecue and a get together. That's become more the norm. We don't need to worry that we need to have, you know, 20, 40 people in our home for a party. We can just arrange it for an outdoors event and that makes a difference. Yeah, like this weekend, it's Lily's birthday and she's having a pool party. So yeah. we would have never done that in the UK. Well, no, it's only saying you have ever see. <laughs> oh yeah, well, we're a paddling pool. Yeah. <laughs> but you only used to see stuff like that on like American sitcoms and things like yeah. that with the pool parties but now we can actually do that ourselves yeah it's pretty cool we have more of an outdoors lifestyle and that also means that we don't end up doing things like watching tv every evening in the uk we watch tv most evenings yeah. we would we would always sit down and there are a number of shows that we enjoy tv shows we don't really watch TV here. We just love being outdoors now and we we really appreciate it so much more than we ever did. Um, we really appreciate the wildlife and it's something that we just hadn't, although it was there in the UK for us, we didn't appreciate it as much as we have done here. It's a newfound love for yeah, ours. It's definitely improved our lives. Hence, why we've ended up with such a big property because we don't mind being outdoors we love being outdoors so another thing that we've sort of changed and it's changed us is um falling in love with nature like back in the uk we didn't really have a lot of things to do like we didn't do the nature walks and things like I that i think there was but i don't think we appreciated it the same yeah um whereas here we found a whole love for nature and being outdoors and animals and something that we just hadn't appreciated in the UK. It, it's all a lot better when there's a bright blue sky and some sunshine and a kangaroo hopping around. Also one thing I've noticed is that there is very much a more holistic life here. 
in turn that makes things quite relaxed probably a lot more practitioners that are interested in a, a holistic approach to things so i quite like that it's yeah. something that's opened our eyes a little bit and there's a lot more healthy eating as well a whole lot of healthy Definitely. Eating, yeah. I think that might be partly the area that we're in. We also think that, personally, we think that there's a better opportunity for housing. Not necessarily in the cities, um, but for sure we wouldn't have got ourselves a farm in the UK. No, it's not called a farm. Sorry, we wouldn't have got an acreage in the UK. Yeah. Yeah, we definitely wouldn't have got anything this size um especially no. like the house size and stuff like that um so there's a lot more opportunities in that sense obviously you can buy acreage over there i think it would have been a lot more pricey because it wasn't something that was in most people's reach yeah whereas i feel like it is affordable here. there is an opportunity if you're prepared to think outside the box sometimes and not live in a city yeah i feel like there's always a way that you can get quite a bit here I mean, we wanted to be in a community, and to be honest, even our last house was a real, a real good home for us. But it's definitely improved our lives, I think, because it's just amazing and like, really wonderful every morning to see the girls out playing in the garden and stuff like that and having that much freedom. And the last way that Australia has changed our lives is that we feel a lot more inspired by work. There's a real strong culture of entrepreneurs here. I mean, there probably is elsewhere as well, but you don't see it as much and people aren't as open and it's the norm, really. Even people that have a job, a lot of them have something that they're doing as an extra to start up by themselves and they're, you know, wanting to do that while they've got employment, the security of employment, but their plan is later to do something for themselves. Yeah. It's quite an exciting place like that. We do. would love it if you would tell us anything that has changed your life by being in Australia. We'd love to know what else you think, because um, I'm sure there's plenty more. Those are just kind of the things that we thought, you know, that's changed our lives. Yeah. Please give this video a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you next week. Bye. Oh, my, my Don't wanna be. Oh, you got to stop wobbling the table. You put all your weight on the table. I don't. You it's... just wobbled it. Don't and take then I can't wobble. take that out of the edit. Stop. Don't take a lot of wobble. Wibble wobble. Mazzy on the plate. That's it. More to me. To me. Maz don't lean on the table. I'm not wobbling it. <laughs> this is why we can't be on telly. We literally have to heavily edit. I think they do on TV as well. Uh, probably not this heavily. Oh, they do like 50 odd takes on one thing. Yeah. But we couldn't be on live TV. Oh, yeah. That would can. be a problem. Yeah, Maz squares too much. Oh, bam. <laughs> Evening, governor. <laughs> Gee whiz. Hello. Go. Anywho. <laughs> Anywho. Anywho. <laughs> Maybe I should go down as well. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Are you fucking twat? <laughs> There's not enough room a little gap. You say no nip slips. <laughs> Stay. Bye bye Ben, farewell. Like, <laughs> right, come up. It's like a scene from Titanic. You take the raft. Spread your guys. legs. I can't spread my legs. I'm not that kind of guy. Look, made me lose where I am. Hedonistic. No, not hedonistic. <laughs>